Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the cloth modifier in 3D Studio Max. For this modifier, I have just created a simple scene where I took uh, one plane, a teapot, and that's another plane. So, <coughs> I will create this plane as a uh, cloth object, and these two will be act as a collisional object. So, select this uh, plane which I want to make the cloth object and go to the modify list and put cloth modifier on it. Under the cloth modifier, uh, select the object properties and by selecting the plane, uh, then you have to select how the plane will actually uh, act in the simulation. These, uh, there are three options out there. One is the inactive which will remain inactive in the simulation. One is the cloth which will act as a cloth and another one is the collision object. For the plane 2, I, I want to make this as a collision, uh, sorry, cloth object. So, I'll just uh, select the cloth and say OK. Then, uh, okay, I have to get back to the object properties and from this option, I have to add the objects. Now, you have to remember that we are not going to put another uh, modifier under these two objects. We are not selecting this modifier and create another cloth modifier. We just continue with the old cloth modif modifier which I have already used because that will um, uh, make these three objects within a system. So select the object properties and say add objects. Whenever the selection list will come up you will see the plane 1 and teapot 1 is already there. So I just uh, select both, both of them by uh, pressing the control button and just uh, put select add. So uh, by selecting this, I have to convert this uh, these as a collisional object. So I will just select plane one and teapot one and make them a collision object. And just uh, you have to press OK. Remember, uh, you have to press OK. You don't if you, if you just close this. Uh, uh, window the uh, the uh, properties will not work so just press ok and now uh, under the simulation we have to press the simulate there are two kind of simulation out there one is the simulate local where if you if you don't want any kind of animation you just uh, you know uh, sometimes in the architectural uh, walkthrough or architectural uh, still picture you just want keep uh, want that a, a, a cloth object is out there just just lying over there or but it will uh, it will react it as a cloth it have some wrinkles and and others other cloth properties then we'll use uh, simulate local otherwise if you, in, you if you need the simulation then you just have to si uh, press the simulate button for the uh, garments we, we will cover those uh, entire details in in the uh, when we'll uh, show you the garment maker and the garment maker and and the uh, other cloth objects so just uh, uh, let's see how uh, it will work in the simulate I just uh, hit the simulate button and it will take some time uh, it depends on your uh, system capacity it will you see immediately you can see the effects uh, happening on the cloth object so that's it So this uh, information uh, about the cloth object by simulation is very important. It's, it, it, sometimes you see the the cloth has been overstretched. You see the cloth has been overstretched, and then the dt will be decreased. It's actually the same calculation process. Uh, how it is actually taking the time or amount of the system memory it's actually using. It, it time to time increasing and decreasing uh, or the memory systems and the calculation methods. <coughs> we'll uh, we'll definitely discuss these things while we're creating uh, some uh, cloth objects in details. So I'll just have to wait for the 
simulation to be happen and you can see the 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 cloth object is not actually reacting uh, uh, exactly as an ob uh, cloth object you know that there are too many wrinkles are out there because of the uh, number of vertices i need those vertices for the uh, details but still uh, this this kind of uh, uh, bending uh, is not exactly required so i'll just uh, it's actually finished so i'll just close the uh, simulation and you'll see it's it has been already it's been uh, shrinked or wrinkled very very much you can see and i have to check one option uh, yeah the thing is ki i have already uh, check on the self collision and uh, check intersection so ch check intersection and self collision is uh, almost not happening but few cases you can see it's actually happening if you if you render this see th there is still still some some portion is bending too much the bending uh, value is not exactly uh, happening properly see these areas not bending value is not happening properly so if i play this now you can see it's act as a cloth but the output is not that good so for that output i have to remove the old uh, uh, simulation so for that i will just erase the simulation from the simulation uh, option and i have to go to the object properties button over here and select the plane tool which is my cloth object and you will see that there are a bunch of options are out there like bend stretch and others so i'll uh, in this case i need the the bend value to be increased you can use some presets also if you if you really want uh, want to use like burlap or maybe silk or satin or kind of thing or maybe cotton or whatever it is so you can use that or or you can use a default default one so i'll just increase this uh, values to 100 and again i have to press ok remember this thing this is very important sometimes you will see this nothing happened because you need to press the ok button the values actually hasn't been changed so again i have to click the simulate button and you will see that uh, uh, the uh, the wrinkles are coming uh, much more differently rather than the the previous one so this is acting acting uh, quite differently than the previous one so i think i have to increase the bend value a bit more uh, so it will react in a very good manner so uh, i just uh, press the escape button to you know stop the simulation and if i it's still okay it's okay but i i still need some some more details here you see you see the things are coming very nicely but a few other areas like uh, like this and here it's not coming uh, that that good so i'll again uh, put uh, the bend value to 150 and just press okay just uh, erase the simulation and i'll just uh, again uh, hit the simulate button so i hope this time uh, this will work properly you have to uh, control these uh, values very very carefully because uh, too much increasing in the value can really uh, affect your rendering uh, sorry uh, the simulation time which which can be uh, it may be undesirable which is uh, really not necessary even uh, so just increase your value uh, very precisely very uh, tactfully so that you can see the uh, differences uh, between uh, what you are doing and what you have did earlier one so i hope uh, these things will work
and if you if you increase the bend value too much then then it will also uh, uh, no the act very very different differently than the than the previous one so uh, it will depends on your system capacity also so because simulation is sometimes really time time taking so uh, though this scene is not that good this scene is not that uh, that heavy uh, for for uh, no very complex uh, kind of uh, simulations but still uh, sometimes you have to think up about about these things so i hope so. the, the simulation is already already been done so i have just escaping this fine now if i play this now you can see the the bending values are coming white good than the previous one you can see the bending value is coming good so it's actually actually you know act as a uh, a realistic uh, cloth object you know so the fine uh, uh, the curvatures and everything so i'm just uh, conclude this uh, lesson but before that uh, i'll just uh, increase a more in the bend values so that uh, you can see the simulation happening you know a bit uh, smoothly i have used uh, a number of uh, very high uh, high resolution of uh, uh, plane like i used 14 to 40 uh, subdivisions so that will help me uh, for increasing the you know bending values and now you can see the bending bend uh, bending happening is really smoothly and it will really act as a uh, uh, smooth uh, cloth kind of thing so I'll just uh, hit the escape button and uh, you can uh, uh, save this uh, state also if you really want to like I, I want to uh, you know start my simulation from from this this kind of straight state so you have to uh, uh, click the set initial state button or even you you really don't want this, this to happen so on so uh, you can easily you now reset the state I'm not uh, uh, creating any reset value or something like that because here I think yes this you see the the, the curvature uh, it's coming really nice so it's actually uh, looking like cloth object so these kind of things are actually uh, depends on the on the object properties that you actually create uh, in uh, in different parts, uh, sorry, in different situations, it depends on your requirement, and uh, that's how you actually plan your scene and uh, uh, you know and the situations also. So hope you enjoy that, and uh, thank you very much.